this is like a bizarre, bizarre, super strange explanation, if you ask me, for why our border is such a mess. She got on TV and like literally, literally refused to tell the truth. This is fiction. She's making stuff up. Let's watch one of the worst press secretaries. She's a nice lady, by the way. She used to come on my show at Fox. A very nice lady. But he's just one of the worst press secretaries I've honestly ever seen. Let's, let's take it away, KJP. Security, he put forth a comprehensive piece of legislation. That was almost three years ago. If Congress, House Republicans didn't get in the way and they actually took action, we probably would be in a different place today. Now what we're seeing in Congress is in the Senate, Republicans and Democrats together are working towards a bipartisan deal, which is, by the way, what Americans want to see. 75% of of Americans want us to take action on immigration, a broken system in immigration, mm-hmm. really secure the border. You heard from the president this weekend. You saw his statement on Friday. He said, give him the new uh, enforcement authorities, right, new th- authorities, and he'll, mm-hmm. he'll use it. He will use it to secure the border. And here's the thing. You have Speaker Johnson and House Republican Speaker Johnson in particular saying that uh, the president already has this authority, but that's not what he said. He's also said that he's always believed in a strong border. And, and, and I got to tell you, that's just flat out wrong. It's flat out wrong. Do we, do we have this graphic? I want to show you. We found this is on the, the White House's website where they literally say their number one priority, their number one priority, day one. And Donald Trump talks about drilling and putting up the border wall. They wanting to take down the border wall. That was the whole point. Maybe we have the graphic, maybe we don't. If we don't, I do want to go to some sound because he actually, he campaigned on this in August of 2020. I mean, this guy was out there telling everybody exactly what he was going to do. And he knew he didn't have the money for it. He knew there was not a dime to pay for any of this. And he actually got on television and said, hey, you know what? We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay because... Ladies and gentlemen, because I, uh, I've got, I, I've got charity. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna have charity, and we're gonna have to have Congress put more money. And we want to get everybody, you know, on a path to citizenship. Oh, we do have the graphic. Okay, so let's go to this. You can see here. This is proclamation on the termination of emergency with respect to the southern border of the United States and redirection of funds diverted to border construction. Border wall construction. This, this is January 20th, 2021. So don't sit there and tell us that you really care about the border when we know you didn't and you, you didn't care until all the polls came back showing that Donald Trump had, it was like mana from heaven for him on the whole border issue. And you, Joe, well, you just got it flat out wrong. Maybe you've been listening to Blinken too long, right? Who's been wrong on every single issue, foreign policy wise, his entire career. Do we have the sound? Because I love this. You know, this is him saying, guys, this is him saying back in 2020, it was August 2020, and he went on some, I think it was an NPR show, and they were having some kind of roundtable discussion, and they were asking all these questions, and they, they, they got to him, and the, the guy from, I think it was Houston, he's a reporter, a print reporter, and he's like, hey, you know, how are you going to do this? And uh <laughs> Joe, I, I don't think we have it, but anyway, I've played it for you before. We'll bring it back again. It's funny, you know. I, I have a few go to a go to moments. This is one of them because the Houston reporter's like, "Well, how are you going to do this? It's going to cost so much money." And he said, "Well, you know, we'll have to count on charitable efforts." And I'm like, "Wow! I mean, to think about that. I mean, there was no plan. 